Now, today we're looking at something very important. We are asking, should people ask each other their HIV status before they get into a relationship? Now, this is a very interesting question. And we decided to take it into the streets of Lagos to find out what people had to say about this. But maybe I should ask Esther. Esther, what are your thoughts on this? Um, well, I'm going to say that it's an issue of perspective, first of all. It depends on how the couple in question sees the issue of the HIV status. If you are someone who is health conscious, for example, you won't have an issue saying, okay, you know what, let's get tested, let's know our status. And then if you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, you should be open enough to tell them if you have the virus, for example. And if you do, you discover that you do, of course, there are needs to get help. You can do that. But if it's a case of, I don't think I should, there are some people who can handle the truth just in case it's an issue of the result being positive for a certain um, spouse or maybe partner in that relationship. But for the issue of dating, especially in a relationship where they know they will be sexually involved, I think it's important that they know each other's status. Well, I would say that in line with that, having understanding the nature of your relationship, it's a determining factor as to whether you should disclose your status. So more importantly, if you're going to be sexually active in your relationship, it's very important because willful infection of, your, of the other party constitutes a crime in many countries. But let's head out to the streets of Lagos. Let's see what people had to say. And when we come back, Esther and I will still be speaking some more on the subject. But maybe you can run along on social media and let us know what side of the divide you're on. At Olive Emody is my account and at I underscore am underscore Esther is how you can get to have a conversation we have. But first of all, let's check out what people have to say in the streets of Lagos. It's proper for ladies to demand for their HIV, for the spou their spouse's HIV results before courtship or marriage. This is because but more than 80% of our young guys out there, they've been proven to have this HIV, uh, HIV virus. And I think that uh, men should uh, demand for HIV test before dating a lady, but it actually depends on the kind of dating. You know, if the dating is not sexually inclined, you know, um, you don't need to ask for HIV test. But if it if it involves sex, if it involves sex, then I think you should really you should really ask for HIV test. For the HIV test results, why not? I mean, the world has moved um, away from that area where you are shy to ask a guy. I mean, I need to know your HIV status and all of that. Of course, I ask. So I mean, I think every girl should ask. Actually, worked in a lab one time ago, and from the from the outcome of the, most of the results we conducted there on men over HIV, we found out that a lot of guys who look healthy, even by physical appearance, they, are <laughs> they tested HIV positive, of which girls or ladies out there wouldn't even be aware of this because men looking at them, you find out they are looking healthy. So they will think that there's no need of them um, trying to find out about this virus. But it is necessary because the physical appearance does not really tell what's in the blood. The virus is in the blood. So I think ladies should try to find out about their spouse's um, HIV results. Well, these opinions, I'm very interested in the man who said, I think men should ask women for their HIV status. What happens to both parties asking yeah, each other? Yeah, because I had an issue with that. I think a lot of our men actually need to change our mentality about this. If you're getting into a relationship with a woman, you should remember that you're the one going after her. So it's not just going to be about what you want as a man. It's a relationship. It's going to be about what both parties want. Especially when such things are healthy for the relationship. This is not an issue. This shouldn't be an issue. I think it shouldn't be an issue. In, in many developed countries, even with sex workers, where sex, being a sex worker is yeah. illegal, you know, it's required of you to reveal your HIV status. It's, wow. you know, you have to give full disclosure. Yeah. Because willfully infecting another person is constituted a crime in yeah, many it countries. It is a crime. So it would make sense if your relationship is going to be a sexual relationship, that both parties actually don't ask for the results. Both of you 
go and get tested together Simple. in a government hospital where you know that the results cannot be manipulated. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. So we, we know that um, there's some medical breakthrough with regards to HIV. Two days ago, I saw on the internet that there's a certain medication that has been produced that has shown, they, they, they basically did an experiment. Okay. They administered the drugs to certain people living with the virus for okay. four weeks. And over the course of four weeks, it drastically reduced the, the viral load of the virus. Yeah, true. So we're actually making progress when it comes to, you know, totally curing HIV and, as well. I, I, don't, I don't think that anybody who is found to be HIV positive should just go out and say, oh, this is the end of the world for me. Uh, I want to commit suicide and all of that. I have seen somebody who actually had the virus and after a period of time of taking, you know, the medication, the antiviral drugs needed, you know, to control this virus, at some point it became undetectable. Is the virus still there? Yes. But this person is living a very healthy life. Basically, this... what that does is it totally reduces the yeah, viral load. You know. So at the end of the day, if you find or yourself or that your partner has HIV, it's not the end of the world. No, it's okay, not. When you take your antiretroviral drugs, what that does is that it reduces the viral load. And there's something called magnetic couples. Magnetic couples is a situation where a positive person is married to a negative person. They can actually live have yeah. a healthy life, have children, they just understand there are certain things that they can't And they should and follow do. the medical instructions exactly. involved in being sexually involved in such a relationship because there are people who can just be careless about things like this. You know, it's not for, for when it comes to health, I would say Nigerians or our people should stop being religious about it. When you know this is the situation, follow up on it medically the way you are instructed to and you'll be fine. At the end Basically. of the day, please, we'd like to encourage you if you're in a relationship and it's a sexual relationship, go and get tested with your partner. It's important that we have such conversations as we get closer to the World AIDS Day, which is the 1st of December. And on this day, we kind of preach more. We preach more about people getting tested, people knowing their status. And many people have, in fact, some people have never done a HIV test before. Yes. So it's, it's like, it's a little scary to see that in 2018, we're still having such conversations. Go and get your thumb pricked. Get your blood tested. It's no big deal. And just in case you've gotten involved in activities that you shouldn't have gotten involved in and you're scared that you've been exposed, we also have the post-exposure prophylaxis that you can take to reduce the chances of you contracting the virus. So HIV is not the end of the world, okay? Yes. Please go get tested. Don't willfully infect somebody else. Aside from thunder firing you, we also have, <laughs> you know, it's actually a punishable <laughs> offense in many countries around the world. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.